ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to International Wildlife Park, the best little circus in Texas. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, at this time, by popular request, we bring to you an artist who was with us here last year. Need I say more? Introducing Happy the Clown.
we have much, much more for you. And at this time, to introduce the next exciting act is the lovely Miss Carolyn. for your flattering interest in my shooting. Ah, but you weren't shot, Miss Walker, remember? That's right, I wasn't. Well, anyway, it was nice of you. And the very next day, I heard that you'd been taken into the firm of Crane and Son, press agents. Now, that was a coincidence, wasn't it, Miss Walker? Yes, wasn't it? But I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. It's very simple. I think the whole thing was a publicity gag. You have an anatom of proof. Sometimes the district attorney's office can be interested in finding proof when enough circumstantial evidence is pointed out to them. Surely you wouldn't take a silly theory like yours to the district attorney. For 500 bucks, I wouldn't. Think it over, Miss Walker. I've got plenty of time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, another of our distinguished guests, my great good friend, Mr. W.C. Fields, will do a skit for you. Ah, how do you do? Aren't you cold, dear? You're so scantily clad. Oh, as a matter of fact, I am cold. Ah, put your arm right on there. That's it. Ah, here's a compartment. Bacon. Oh, look at the placard. This is reserved for Lord Robert R. Roberts. It isn't reserved for him now. Here, put it right in there, dear. But you can't do this. You're not in Yankee land now, and this sort of thing is not tolerated here. Oh, get in, dear. Begging your pardon, sir, but your portmanteau is leaking. My portmanteau is leaking? I what are you lying. talking about? Uh, uh, your luggage. Oh, luggage, my portmanteau. Thank you. If you hadn't have been a liquor head, you'd have never noticed it. Looks like death warmed over. Right. Look out there. Sit down there. Get, get comfortable. You see my hat? Oh. oh, did I hurt it? No, how could you hurt a straw hat by sitting on that? I'll have to have it re-blocked. Stuffy in here. Yes, it is. Yes, yes, it is. Ooh, the air is so intoxicating. Intoxicating? <gasps> Nothing intoxicating out there. <gasps> Speaking of intoxication, I've made lotto. Here. 
These things are rationed, I'd say. Two or three smokes and one. Uh, look out, look out, you're going to drop them. I'll pick them up after you leave. <laughs> Mm. Trying to set the place on fire beside. Oh, oh, eh, 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 eh. Ah! Fell right on his foot. Thought he'd pulled gum legs. Didn't screw his legs on right this morning, I guess. Here we go. Look out, look out, look. The dying swan. Ah. Hey, you're all right. You're all right now. Now you're both all right, see? Now, ah, that's good. That's, yeah, you made up. <laughs> that's fine. Oh, don't do that. You hurt him. What are you doing that for? Oh, that's terrible. I must try that on my wife. Oh, you broke his throat. Now he's got butterflies in the throat. I've had them in the stomach, but never in the throat. <laughs> That's <Yeah. a> good <laughs> what you gonna do now? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, we two, we got to tell you all. Mother of pearl. Oh. I don't know my own strength. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Yes, uh, so I'm drunk's repulsive. Come, my little poppin' cheese. 